What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Adriel here. And I am Kiva. So is it okay to withhold sex from your partner? If you're new to the channel, we want you to pause this video right now and click that subscribe button and the bell so you do not miss out on any of our future posts. Right. And for all of our viewers, new and old alike, please go ahead and smash that like button. That's right. Now this question came in from a friend of mine who watched our video on um, sex before marriage and her friend wanted to know basically is it okay if a spouse holds out on sex from their partner even if they're angry? So you know that's a little tricky one for us we were discussing this and we came up with it depends. It depends. Yeah. It depends. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, if I am upset with my husband and um, he wants sex from me, mm -hmm. it will be a Sahara Desert. <laughs> you ain't about to get sex from nobody. Um, we need to talk about oh, our issue. Man. Why am I upset? How can we fix this and move on? Because I really believe as a woman, number one and as a wife if you're more concerned about getting some than fixing the issue yeah. there's something wrong you can't just use my body just to gratify you and i know some people use that text so i like to use that text um from first corinthians i think seven four mm -hmm. about basically the husband having authority over the wife's body yeah. and vice versa I think we need to look at it from both lens because you can't just use that text as a weapon yeah. to say I could get what I want because the Bible still speaks about being loving, mm -hmm. being kind, being selfless, and um, also loving your wife as Christ loves the church. Yeah. Christ fixes, he meets our needs first. Mm -hmm. He ministered by meeting people's needs. Yeah. So before you as my husband want to minister to me, in other ways that people can't. Mm -hmm. You need to say, okay, what's the need of my wife? But well, what do you think, babe? Yeah, I'm talking a lot. I think that you should definitely have a discussion, talk about it, and it's okay for one party or the other to say, you know what, babe, I'm just, I'm not in the mood. Not to use it as a weapon, mm. but to communicate. We're, we're grown folk here. We have to learn to communicate yes. our emotions, express our emotions. You know what? I'm not happy you did this or you did that. Let's talk about it. And I'm not really in the mood right now and this is why and you know not blaming anyone is your fault i'm not in the mood none of that but just communicate effectively and i think it should be okay like it doesn't make sense to me if i'm in the mood and she's not in the mood for us just to have sex you want your partner to be in the mood as well you know i gotta sweet her up a little bit as well to get her in the mood too that's yeah. part of, that's part of the process yes but i'm not just gonna be like bam i'm, I'm good to go she's not and i just expect that yeah your body's my body. I'm just gonna use it. It doesn't work like that. That's not marriage and that's not love. No. Right? God is our ultimate example. Mm. He teaches us how to to love each other unconditionally. And it's what's the word? It's service. Yeah, I'm supposed to serve her. I'm supposed to meet her needs, uh, you know, before mine. Mm. Like that text says, as God loves the church, that's how I'm supposed to love her. Mm. He gave his body up for the church, Christ. I'm supposed to give myself up for her. So it's, you know, just a, lot of, a few thoughts to think about um, and hopefully, you know, some the partners out there, they'll have mercy and, and learn from these experiences because it's not too late to learn, it's not too late to change. No. As long as there's breath in our lungs, we can change and we can learn to love each other as Christ loves us. That's, that's true and I agree with you on that. Um, on the flip side, there are people some women, I don't know if men be doing this too, but using it as a weapon to get what they want. Mm. To say, well, I'm about to give you none of this and to, uh, because you do X, Y, and Z. Mm. Like he said, we grown. Like yeah, if you, that like that's childish. Like, like what's the point of you getting mine in the first place? Like right. seriously, mm. like 
that's not that's not that is not cool no i think that is wrong you're not supposed to use your your vagina or your penis as a weapon to say i'm not going to pleasure my husband because he did x y and z or because he didn't take out the trash today yeah excuse me like that's not right that's not right and there has to be communication like he said like if if my husband would have upset me upset me if he did something it's my duty as a person as his wife to communicate why i feel the way he feel and how he responds is up to him mm -hmm. but at least i would have communicated this to him and say you know what babe i'm not in the mood because of x y and z but don't weaponize don't weaponize the text mm -hmm. and also don't use that um holding out as a weapon for like revenge or being petty yeah because at the end of the day and i'm sorry to say this i'm sorry to say this but if you don't have sex with your spouse mm. especially because you're being petty your spouse will find someone else to have sex with may find may depending on who they are they may find mm -hmm. <laughs> but you're basically trying to push them to go away yeah. to go someplace else mm -hmm. because if 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 and that's like i don't know like yeah. if you're not getting love from your spouse and we all want to be loved we all want to be loved we have mm -hmm. to understand each other like men for example they are attracted to they're visually yeah. attracted to people whereas women we look for the heart we want an emotional connection vice versa if a woman steps out on her marriage Sometimes, a lot of times, it's because she doesn't feel that emotional yeah. connection. Whereas, well, men, it's a different. Yeah, it's uh, a whole number that's a of whole reasons. different <laughs> reason. But I'm just saying, like, they have to find balance and understand that there needs to be respect across the board. Don't try to weaponize things mm -hmm. and don't try to be petty because in doing that, you're hurting both parties. You're hurting yourself and you're going to hurt your spouse. Yeah. And what's the point of hurting your spouse purposely? if he took up vows yeah. to love and to hold you know like come on let's let's be adults yeah that's and if you don't know how to communicate learn mm -hmm. there's no excuses i know some people like that's just how i am no it's not no god changes the heart he changes our you know our, the way of thinking i'm not the same person i was five years ago so you can change too there's hope so whoever's out there um is having this issue don't feel like there's no hope ask god for help seek counsel and i want to actually know your thoughts so if you yeah. feel as though it's okay to hold out on your spouse if they if you if they upset you tell us why yeah. drop it in the comment below and you know it's, it's nice to see other people's opinions because mm -hmm. we don't have to agree on everything that is what makes us different mm -hmm. um let's have a dialogue do you think it's right especially coming from a spiritual perspective based off of this text from first corinthians 7 verse 4 do you think it's okay for your spouse to hold out on sex if they're upset so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to talk about the subject also drop it in the comment section and we will be sure to touch on some of these topics because it needs to be talked about yeah yeah or you can find us on instagram you know shoot us a dm or whatever it may be but reach out we want to talk about it we need to talk about it and we want people to to overcome and before we leave, we cannot forget to remind y'all that you are blessed, blessed and highly, highly favored. favored. We see y'all in the next episode. See ya.